everybody. Hopefully I can make this video quick. I don't know. I'm a mechanical engineer, so I really get into this stuff. I really geek out over it. And when I looked on YouTube, or I look on television even, at the oil commercials, oh my gosh. Use our oil. It's wonderful. It'll make your car last. <coughs> Wrong answer. Marketing people, I fight with marketing people all the time. They are so full of crap. Anyway, I mean, their job is to push the product. They don't give a crap. <laughs> They're already paid by the time the thing airs. So what's going on with Volvo? So I have an older Volvo. This is a 2018 Volvo with the 2.0 liter. And what has happened is they've changed their oil requirements because of the turbo mainly. And because BMW, Audi, and Volkswagen have been having all kinds of problems with their timing chain. So first off, the last place I go to is the dealer. So if you purchased your car new and you still own it, then the manufacturer should have sent you a letter explaining all this to you. Now, not only did I buy my car used, <laughs> I don't go to the dealer for my oil change. So that's two strikes against me. And believe it or not, someone was nice enough to let me know about it in the comment section of one of my oil change videos. So if you pop open the hood and actually read the tag, if you're like me, you don't even get past the first line. Castrol Edge Professional recommended by Volvo. Well, they're only recommending the brand name Castrol. I mean, it's available in in um, Mobile One, at least I'll show you the requirement I found. And this is the old one. It is quality ACEA A5 slash B5. So let's look at that for a second. So here's some 5W30. Huh, not even on there. Yep, 5W30. I don't see no letters looking like that. Here I have some 040. And it says European formula ACEA A3 and B4. Well, that doesn't match ACEA -E 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 A5 B5. That's not A5 B5. Ah, that's behind. And then if you go down here, that's all it says. Not even SL Plus, which I don't even think Volvo deals with that. Here's another brand. What's it say? SN Plus. But no letters or numbers. Chrysler, Ford, GM Gen 2. You know, doesn't make it. So here's the new sticker. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and don't go to the dealership like me, you are looking at part number 32245390. It's about six bucks. I ordered some oil filters, an air filter, a couple other things uh, in addition to the stickers so that the shipping and handling charges, you know, are not as pronounced. Uh, I might have been able to go down to the local dealer and pay seven or eight bucks for it, you know, whatever. And I was going to replace the old one. All right. 
with the new one which says quality has changed from A, C, E, A, A5, B5 to V, C, C, R, B, S, 0 to A, E, 0, winter, dash, 20. So, where do you get that stuff from? Well, the only place I've been able to find it is, in fact, Castrol. And there's a reason for that. If you look right here, it says BP Lubricants USA. British Petroleum. That's why Castrol is recommended by Volvo because that's the oil company over there across the pond. And so a lot of uh, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, Volvo, Mercedes, you know, that they all deal with uh, British Petroleum. And Castrol Edge Eurocar 0W20V for Volvo. Let me get out of there picture there so you can see for Volvo and a little bit of French too poor Volvo European formula alright and when you look on the back all the numbers keep out of the shadow here and I see a, C, E, A, C5, Volvo, V, C, C, R, B, S, 0, dash 2, A, E. That is a 0, not the letter. It's the number 0, not the letter. So there you go. If you want to put the correct oil in your vehicle, you're going to need this particular product. The UPC code is 0791921259577. Uh, let's see, let me look and see what I paid for it. Well, I just seen my packing slip, but uh, it was about $9 a quart. Yeah. And if you want to replace your sticker, that part number 3224539. Nine zero. So if I was even on camera, so you can go to Castrol's website and you can get all the good stuff on the product, along with the performance claim, for storage. All of the geeky numbers that I like to see. Complete explanation that has nothing to do with buy this oil, it's good for your car. Crap you see on TV. Now if you uh, EC, who is EC for? Uh, it looks like Jaguar. So we flip it over here and we see, yep, Jaguar. So the Land Rover engine, it's really Land Rover, but whatever. If you have a four-cylinder Volkswagen made after 2016 or whatever, you should be using LL4, uh, Castrol Edge. Well, it doesn't have to be that brand, but comma, it needs to meet ACEA C5, Porsche C20, or VW50800 slash 50900. And for your Beamer, you need LL17FE+. And your specs on that are ACEAC5. Oh, APISP, I see that all over the place. And BMW Long Life. 17 FE plus and it's all because of the turbo and the turbo runs 
Don't think just because you don't floor your car the turbo's not running. How do you think you get all that great gas mileage? All right, just to so show that uh, us Americans aren't out of the loop, Mobile Super 3000 Formula VC meets some specs. Now, Mobile specs are RBS0 2AE. Not quite the same, however, they do make the claim that it is good for uh, 0 W20 suitable for modern high efficiency gasoline, diesel, and hybrid cars from Volvo as well as Japanese and Korean vehicles that specifically call for 0 20. 0 winter 20. And there we have it. RSBO-2AE, so it meets the Volvo requirements. So mobile does make it, but you need the Super 3000. So I was able to show you something besides Castrol, Edge, Professional 5. You can get mobile Super 3000. Good luck with that. So anyway, my whole point of this video is just to inform you that Volvo has indeed changed the specifications for oil. If you're going to keep your car for a while, you really need to consider it. I know oil is like a religion. People are absolutely insane about it. You know, I use this oil, this weight, you know, and, and I understand that because I've had V8s all my life. I have Chrysler V8s, I've had BMW V8s, I've had Mercedes V8s, I currently own a Volvo V8, I've had GM V8s, no Fords, but I get it, and a V8 is a very sloppy engine, I mean the tolerances are, are easily 10 plus or minus 5, easy, where these guys are down in the mills, we're talking, you know, 5 plus or minus 2 mills, you know, five plus or minus one mils. I mean, I, it is just unbelievable how small that is. So anyway, the whole point of the video is just to, hey, give you a heads up. Volvo engine oil, 0W20, has specifications. And if you want to save your turbo in the long run, you need to change it every <coughs> 5,000 miles. That's not me, that's them. I didn't make that number up. So, c'est la vie. Thank you for watching.